Hey guys, today I want to talk a minute about the replay function in TradingView. If you're not using the replay function, you're really missing out on a very powerful tool. Back when I started trading, we didn't have TradingView or replay function. You couldn't really look at charts at home. So what we had was test mode. So literally the first day that I was on the trading desk as a market maker, and I had just started my training. It was the, like I said, the, my very first day. And before the market opened, the assistant trader took me to a machine that one of the other traders used and put it in training mode so that I could practice entering orders, executing orders, things like that. And <laughs> when, so it got to be, you know, a quarter of nine, the traders started coming in. They usually got there at like eight 30 or a little before nine. And I went and sat with the assistant head trader who had set me up on this machine to do the training and test mode. The problem was you didn't know that you had to put the trading machine, the computer back into live mode. So at nine 30, I was sitting again with the assistant trader and I heard yelling and cursing from the back of the trading room. The guy whose machine had been put in training mode, he didn't know that it had been. So at the open, he was trying to execute orders and was livid that nothing was happening and couldn't figure out <laughs> what was wrong. So that was my experience with the equivalent of, um, you know, the replay function, the best that we had back in the day. But if you're not using it now, it, it's trading view is free to use. So you can use the replay function in three different ways that I'll, I'll talk about right now. It's super simple to use. You literally, if you're in trading view, it'll be at the top. You just click replay and then you pick the spot that you want to start. And so if you start, you know, this is the beginning of the day on June 5th. So you click that and you'll see everything disappear to the right and you'll see it. You're in replay mode. Um, which is good because then you'll know that you're in replay. If you're trying to trade the market live from a trading view chart, you'll know that, uh, you're in test mode. Um, what you can do then is move your chart over. And if you didn't know down here on the bottom, there's an auto fit down in this lower, right? You can click that and that'll let you move the chart up and down. This is helpful if you have a day that gaps. So if you want to do a replay of a day and, you know, say it, it opened like up here somewhere, you can move your chart so that when it starts, it's, it's there, like it's in the middle of your chart. The, on the, the fifth that I'm looking at, it didn't really gap. So it's going to start right here, basically go to the bottom. Once you've set up your replay, where you want it to start the replay speed. You can do it really fast or you can go really slowly. And I usually try to do like the one X speed when I'm looking at my setups for the day and I'm looking at the two minute chart. The first thing that I do that I use the replay for is to see if I executed on my setups, then I take the setups I should have taken. Did I execute once I was in the setup and did I manage it correctly? Right. Did I put my stop at the right place? Did I take my stop? You know, very important, especially if you're a, a newer trader, did I take my stop and did I exit the position the way that I should have? So you just hit play and it starts putting in the bars on the two minute chart and see how they're up a little bit. And you can move to the right. I'm going to hit pause. You can move to the right that you didn't know and compress your chart or, or make it bigger. Um, so I'm going to bring it here. So if I hadn't done anything at this point in the day, I'm under the 20. So I'm thinking short, but then we get this move basically now three times this bottom has held. 
so at this point, I've basically had a triple bottom, but this one wasn't, you know, a little bit higher than the first one, but I've got a triple bottom in place. So right now, when I should be thinking, and I'm looking you know, again at my replay, is if we test this again, that's a definite entry point for me, right? I did a video on support and resistance. That's definite support. We move off and then we fall back. I'm going to pause. We fall back to this level, almost to the penny again on this quick sell down. I should have been ready here with an order, or if I'm you know watching live and trading, then I should have gotten in at this point. So I should have spotted this and I should have entered here, right? So this tells me if I did that, then I was watching, paying attention and took my setup correctly. And if I didn't do this, if I didn't enter, then I missed, right? It's letting me know again, that I've missed a setup that I should have taken. The second thing you can do besides reviewing your trades for the day is you can use replay as a training tool. So basically go back and you, you can, you can do this with, I'm going to, I'm going to exit replay mode. You hit replay and yes, I'm going to exit and you can do this with the cues. If that's what you trade, you can do it with any stock that you trade. But if you want to practice to make sure that you're on point, that you're able to trade live and take your setups. And this helps with the emotional part as well, because if you're doing this in replay mode, you can sort of, you know, you can live through the trade the same way that you would during the day. Um, you know, if, if, if the trade's going against you, you, you know, you have that emotional reaction. Every trader basically does. You can do that in a training mode setting. So you're not risking capital. So just go back and just pick any point, hit the replay button, pull it back into view. This is the 19th, like just, just pick a day that you know, don't pick a day, like, you know, look at it and see exactly what's going to happen. Just go back in time, pick a point and go with your replay button. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so you can just see it better and just hit play and see, you know, should, you know, should I've gotten in here is a double bottom I'm seeing the 20 turned. we got a power bar move off the 20 for me. That's a trade I should have taken, right? That's one of my setups. So I would take this trade. I know that that is my entry. Again, let me get it a little bigger so you can see it. For me, this is my entry. As we clear this resistance level, I've got the 20. I've got a power bar moving higher that breaks through that resistance. I get a first push. I'm looking for usually three pushes generally, depending you know, a little bit on market conditions, but that's my first push. This is my second push. So I would be in this trade right now and I would have moved my stop up. Do you, you get the idea? You just pick a time if you want to, it's going to tr trip over to the next day at this point, because this is toward the end of the day. So if you want, make sure you put it in at nine 30, but it doesn't really matter. You put it in for any time of the day and just walk through the trades, like as if you were trading it. And again, you can slow it down to whatever speed you want. So you can go much slower with the replay tool. The third thing I use it for is new strategies. If I'm going to set a stop, should I use the 20 as my stop or should I use a two bar stop? Like I have to be stopped out on two bars, not just one bar move and then a reversal. Should I use three moving averages for me? I'm often using the 20, the nine and the 13. It's just one of the strategies that I use when they separate and then come back together. If you have the three moving averages, you'll see they separate, they come back together, they separate, they come back toge together, which can trigger a long or a short, depending on where you are with those moving averages. You can test the MACD if you want to use that. Any technical indicator that you haven't used and you're thinking about using, 
you can test it out on the replay. And like I said, if you haven't used MACD, just put the MACD on your chart and hit play. And the, all the indicators are going to move. We had a, a little bit of a gap lower open this next day. All of your indicators are going to move and work on replay the same as they do, you know, intraday. So there, a buy signal in the MACD, would that have worked? No, that one would have failed. Where would, should your stop be? You get the idea again. You can test out whatever strategy you want to use with replay and it doesn't, you know, cost capital, obviously. So three ways to use it. Again, look at your daily trades, make sure that you executed them correctly. Practice your trades, whatever your setups are. Go in and practice those by picking a random day. You can pick any stock you want, but generally you want it to be something that you're trading. You want it to be something that's liquid and that's going to move like whatever it is that you're trading. And then three, when you're trying out new strategies or new technical indicators, use replay to do that. I hope that helps. If it did, please hit like and subscribe and I'll make more videos like this going through how I trade and some of the tools that I use. Thanks.